some hidden nerf lore just dropped. And it's all in time for Halloween. How exciting is that? Because it's all about the nerf zombie strike line. And what a better time because it's the spookiest time of year. And as I was leafing through the nerf ultimate activity handbook, I stumbled across something that uh, I was surprised to actually find out about. And when I checked the copyright for the book, it was about 2018. So this has just been sitting on my shelf with the information in here. And I didn't even know it. All of the kids on the boxes, the dozen or so online YouTube videos that kind of look like Reboot the Animated Series, all have names, they all have personalities, and they all have specialties. So what could this possibly mean? Well, sit down, fellow nerfer. It's time we dive into this lore. Let's dial the time back to about the 2010s. Zombies were everywhere. You couldn't turn around three feet without somebody talking about their zombie survival strategy, the latest zombie comic book they read, the latest zombie movie that they were excited to see. Zombies were everywhere. And it was only natural for toy companies to explore such a popular monster genre, thus Nerf entering into the zombie fray with the zombie strike line. Now here's where things kind of get a little interesting, because around the same time college campuses were starting to grow and explode in popularity with the HVZ Nerf game type. A lot of people think Nerf was inspired by the HVZ community to build the zombie strike line, but likely what is the reality is that zombies were just really popular and things like that happen all the time where multiple people come to the same idea and conclusion because of just popular culture all around them. That's not to say they weren't entirely inspired by the HVZ community, but in all honesty, that's probably its own video, but we're gonna stick to the nerf lore contained in the activity handbook. And if for some reason you're not familiar with the Nerf Zombie Strike line, you really should be. It's a fantastic line of blasters that incorporates a DIY or handmade feel to each of the blasters. Not only did that allow Nerf to put some of their best efforts towards gimmick and shell design, it also lent itself well to the Nerf End Strike Elite performance level that everybody was kind of getting accustomed to. And the Zombie Strike line has some absolutely iconic blasters. You can't go to any Nerf event without seeing a hammer shot. These are just that good. And so good, in fact, that Nerf has brought them back in various design and color choices throughout the years. And right now you can get a brand new hammer shot on Amazon that looked really sweet. But when you were at the store deciding what Nerf blaster to buy, be it Target, Walmart, Toys R Us, I think we're still around that time. On the front of the boxes, there were some cartoon kids in survival gear. And when you flipped the package over, there were clearly some schematics and designs and thought behind a story within the Zombie Strike universe. However, after pouring through all the packaging, all of the instruction manuals, and yes, even the 13-ish episodes of the Zombie Strike animated series on YouTube, I can confidently say we know nothing about these kids. <laughs> well, there must have been some kind of lore behind it, there must have been some story that as the people behind the Zombie Strike line were pushing these out, it probably followed some kind of internal story or something that made sense of why things were happening in the Zombie Strike world. Because don't you think it's just a tiny bit suspect that nerf darts are the only thing that can disintegrate these zombies? These illustrations and animations are clearly trying to tell a bigger story, but often what ends up happening is that these stories are focused Focused on selling a product. Now, I grew up in the 80s and 90s. I know exactly what this is all about. In fact, most of my Saturday mornings were about consuming as many commercials as humanly possible to buy the thing. Did the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles need to meet another mutant? No, but coincidentally, that mutant happened to be on the Target store pegs in the toy aisle. But it's always interesting when there's more story wrapped up into it. So without further ado, let's unmask some of these zombie strike survivors, give them names, and give them their story that they are due. Maverick, which is a great name, by the way, because the Nerf Maverick was probably, is probably one of the most iconic Nerf Blasters of all time. Fight me on that one. Maverick is the leader of the group and the oldest member of the strike team. He is always cool, calm, and collected under pressure. The rest of the team respect his opinion even when he sometimes comes up with a zany plan or two. It's always good to have a zany leader when you're fighting a zombie apocalypse. Ripley, which I'm guessing is probably like a Aliens reference a little bit, maybe? Ripley is a top mechanic. She can fix anything and is your go-to girl for any battle gear modification. Smart, clever, and highly focused. She's always looking to improve her target precision. Rex. W. 
R-E-X, by the way, just not R-E-X, please. Rex is the youngest of the group and doesn't worry too much about the zombies, unless they steal his food. He can sometimes get himself into difficult situations, but luckily his speed and agility help him out in a tight spot. Prof is the hacker and scientist of the group. He played a key role in discovering that Nerf foam has a debilitating effect on the zombies. Not just debilitating, it disintegrates them. He always is filming the team's exploits and uses the footage for his research. Dem. Don't mess with Dem. She's always training to be the best and is only ever happy with first place. Dem carries the most blasters of anyone in the group and won't hesitate to use them if a zombie appears. And Kevin. Kevin is big, strong, and very intelligent. If there is a heavy object that needs lifting, give Kevin a call. He might look intimidating, but he is always kind and fair, often keeping the peace on the team. And that's it. That's all the zombie lore we get. But again, this is kind of wild speculation. This seems like something that was designed or maybe possibly developed for a video game that we may have never seen. If you remember, the nerf N-Strike and N-Strike Elite line of blasters did get some Nintendo Wii games that came with the corresponding blaster. I wouldn't be surprised if Zombie Strike was right up there in line with it, but possibly something happened in the development, or based on the reception of the other two nerf games, it might have just gotten cancelled. But it seems to me that it hints at some bigger story, some bigger projects that were in the works, because you don't go to the effort of fleshing out characters and people and their specialties without a purpose behind it. But know that there are bits and pieces of it floating out there, and fortunately I was able to find the lore for the people that were defending the nerf universe from the nerf zombies. It would be interesting to see the zombie strike universe fleshed out just a tiny bit more, but I don't think we'll get to see that ever happening because since 2020 we haven't seen a brand new zombie strike blaster. And just like the HVZ community and zombie strike line video, I think that deserves its own video as well, because what did happen to one of the most enduring and popular nerf lines of recent memory? So thank you for joining me on my nerf zombie strike lore drop. Possibly sometime in the future, I will go as a group costume of all the nerf zombie strike survivors because, well, I have all the props for them. <laughs> thanks for joining me on this video here. Hope to see you next time, and thanks for watching. <laughs>